Hello everyone, this is Austin Weeb. I'm uh, one of the founders of uh, Lionheart Niverville. Um, I've actually made this video before, I just uh, can't get it onto YouTube, so I'm going to make it again. Um, so, our culture today has a very serious problem, a very serious problem with uh, our submission to the Word of God. Okay, so think about it. When, we, when our life doesn't fit the Word of God, we have a tendency to change the Word of God to fit our life rather than changing our lives and actually turning from our old ways in order to fit the Word of God. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you've heard someone say this? Well, that was interpretation, right? And then they try and interpret it into like five different languages in order to get that one word that kind of permits what they're doing. Um, or, you know, like God didn't mean that. I mean, he said that, but he didn't mean that, right? Uh, I mean, fill in the blanks, but, <clears throat> you know, that actually, believe it or not, that actually sounds like somebody from the Bible, actually. In Genesis, <clears throat> in Genesis 3, verse 4. Okay. 3, verse 4. Listen to this. Okay. The serpent said to the woman, you won't die. Okay, so you won't die. I mean, God God said that, but he didn't mean that. You won't die. Right, that's, that's pretty crazy, right? These are the words of Satan himself here. Um, but, you know, you won't die. You know, just put it up to interpretation, right? Well, that was for Adam. That wasn't for you. Or, you know, that was that was part of the culture, the times, or that was up to interpretation. You know, fill in the blanks. Um, but then people come to me and they say stuff like, well, hold on a second. I mean, I'm keeping my options open. I'm keeping my, I'm opening my mind to uh, new knowledge and stuff like that. You shouldn't close your mind to the stuff like the Bible. I'm keeping my options open. Well, hold on a second, because Satan's not done speaking here yet. Okay. Um, For God knows that when you eat of this fruit, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like him, knowing all things good from evil. Okay, so I want you to think about that. I'm using the words of Satan himself to describe how our culture reads the Bible today. That is scary. 